Hi everyone, welcome to another TOS video. In this video, I'll be playing the ultimate stage Long for Friendship using an Azathoth team. This team will satisfy two achievements, the Mono Dragon achievement as well as same leader and ally achievement. I'll give you tips and tricks along the way, so let's begin. Okay, first round we have Sun Wukong and two um, just like random mobs. So here we're going to aim for the middle one and then take out the side mobs uh, afterwards. Unfortunately full attack just screwed me over but that's okay. Next we have foul play and heart lock. So here we're going to try and kill the one on the right first so that we can dissolve heart runes afterwards if you do like a good six or seven combos you should be able to take them both out or at least just the one on the right out first hey okay, next we have um three uh, electrified dark runes this can also be electrified light runes so here we can just spin and then um, yeah we can spin and then when you have Colin ready go ahead and activate him oh dang If you have trouble getting rid of this enemy, uh, activate Colin. He will give you time tunnel plus extra dark and light runes that you can use to get rid of the electrify runes. Next we have minion shield. So here I'm going to try and aim to trigger my snipe skill to try and take the side mobs out first. I forget this. this stage have... Does this stage have neutralized reset? Uh, yep, yeah, it has a neutralized. So here, we're not going to activate uh, Novalis yet. Oh, actually, yeah, we don't want to activate Novalis at all here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, battle 5. Here we have Sun Wukong with 20 hit shield. So with Asatoth HP, we can actually um, just grind him down. Or grind the hits down. This is why you don't want to have Novalis activated. Otherwise, you only launch, you only launch one attack. And it's going to... Um, take forever to break his shield actually he might kill you even before you break his shield luckily the snipe counts as one hit so um, it helps us out so when your HP is low go ahead and activate Needhog HP recovery After we break the shield, uh, he should go down pretty easily. Okay, next we have uh, have a six plus combo shield. Uh, this is initial batch only, so. Be careful of that 
I've definitely died here before a couple times. Um, Yeah, if you manage to break the shield, he will go down pretty easily. Next we have Panda with Neutralize, which is why we didn't activate Novalis. So here, activate Novalis and activate Asatoth to clear the entire board. For the boss, we have Muck, um, Heart, and Dark Runes, as well as Initial Orb Shield. So here, activate Asatoth and start moving from this room right here. Uh, if you start moving from here, it will give you enough time to react to how many combos you have to make, and you can adjust accordingly. Four combos, so I can just do this. So 5 combos, you would just move this one to the bottom corner, 6 combos, just the same, and then 3 combos, you would merge these 2 dark columns into one, um, and that should be pretty easy to get 3 combos. Next we have light dark shield, so just activate Colin, this gives you just light and dark uh, runes, and we can take him out in one hit. You can activate Ursula if you want, for extra damage, but I find out that it's not necessary. And yeah. Well, overall, I think this is a pretty doable stage and pretty straightforward with an Asatoth team. Um, yeah, not really any problems. I think the only grindy part is the 20 hit shield, but you can bring, um, yeah, I don't think, you can also bring a craft that delays the enemy to give you more turns to break the 20 hit shield. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for more TOS videos on my channel, and I will see you next time, bye bye.